Khalifa Sal's supporters denounced the legal system minutes after sentencing by the judge. The mayor was found guilty of corruption, embezzling millions of dollars and falsifying documents. I had so much faith in the justice system. It's being used to eliminate good people. How can we trust our government? Outside court, police in riot gear controlled the angry crowd. Sal is a leading voice of the opposition and a rival to his namesake president, Maki Sal. Khalifa Sal's supporters accuse the ruling party of using the courts to derail his planned bid in next year's election. Since we can't use courts, we will use political means to put pressure on the government. The opposition marched last month in Dakar, calling for a free, fair and transparent election in 2019. They chant the name of Karim Wad, another leading member of the opposition. He served time in prison for corruption and now lives in exile. This protester accuses President Maki Sall of enriching himself and his family from public funds and putting his opponents in jail. The government spokesman says that's nonsense and argues the president is fighting corruption. Times have changed. State coffers are no longer up for grabs. The message here is that what was possible before no longer is, and everybody, no matter who you are, is accountable to the law. But Senegal's justice system is in crisis. Court clerks are on strike over pay and working conditions. A prominent judge has just resigned from his position a few days ago, saying that the tribunals are not serving the people, but rather the government. Khalifa Sal's lawyers are launching an appeal against the conviction. Until then, he continues to be the mayor of Dakar. His fraud trial has come to symbolize a test for Senegal's democracy and justice system. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar.